Hornet is the latest 3D printer from Artillery. I'm a huge fan of both the Sidewinder X1 and the Genius machines from Artillery and was very interested to test out their latest budget-friendly offering. It's priced at 280 US dollars, which is competitive with the Ender 3 V2 and rounds out Artillery's printer ecosystem nicely at $50 less than the Genius and $130 less than the Sidewinder. The Hornet has a build volume of 220 on the X and Y and 250 on the Z. The bed is coated glass just like all the other artillery machines and I find this style of bed works excellent for PLA, holding prints securely while heated and releasing them easily once cooled. It has a single inverted Z-axis lead screw, a Titan style extruder, and a belt tensioning screw for the X-axis. On the base of the machine, it has a small LCD screen with a click wheel encoder and takes a full size SD card, something I love to see on machines. The sturdy aluminum extrusion frame is shrouded in an objectively stylish yellow plastic case, and the spool holder sits on the right side of the machine and is easily removed. Upon removing the case, I noticed there was no warranty void sticker, something I know artillery has received a lot of backlash about for putting on the Sidewinder machines. The base houses a 350 watt power supply and a 32 bit board, which runs the latest feature rich Marlin firmware with removable stepper drivers. I really like this new Marlin firmware. Every setting you need to successfully calibrate your machine is accessible via the menus, which I find super handy. Unlike artillery's other printers, this one uses a Bowden tube but that's where things get really interesting. They've encased the Bowden tube in this cable that also houses all the electrical connections for the hot end. It has threaded locks on either side to secure it in place. I was a little skeptical about the longevity of this cable and reached out to Artillery with a question. Would the Bowden tube be replaceable? To which they replied, no, but the entire cable can be replaced and the Bowden tube should last the entire lifespan of the machine. The added rigidity of this cable translated to much lower retraction distances and I was able to use just 3 millimeters of retraction with this setup as opposed to the 4 to 5 millimeters needed on a machine like the Ender 3. As you saw earlier in this video, print quality is excellent and even with a Bowden style extruder, really excels at retractions. I was absolutely amazed at its ability to print the lattice cube design that is full of both retractions and bridges. So what's my final verdict? This is an awesome machine for both beginners and advanced users, and I think more competition and innovation at this price point is ultimately good for the consumer. This machine packs all the essential features that I like to see on a printer while also managing to come in at a reasonable price. Huge thanks to Artillery for sending out this review unit in exchange for an honest review. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out the machine. If you'd like to see more 3D printing content, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and happy printing.